Hi yeah, I'm Barry, I'm 24, a bit unshaven as you can see, a bit unshaven here, cut myself just there, um, I'm blind as you can see, um, hair's not exactly nice. Um, this is my first blog, yes, a blog. Now, this is, ooh, what's this? Ah, haha, another camera, just shows you that. Well, it's effectively what I do, um, I'm a podcaster. Um, I create podcasts for a channel called The Podcast Channel. Um, and um, that's basically what I do during the day. This is at night. Um, you can see the curtain's closed. The curtain's closed there. Um, purely because the daylight's causing a problem with the camera. I'm a bit of stickler like that, and you'll probably find that as we go along. Um, before I start, though, I want to give a few shout outs. Hello to my sister, Kerry. Um, hello to mum, to dad. Um, and then to the podcast team at the tow at Podcast Towers. Um, people like Paul, Joe, Nancy, Dave, Ken, Dion, Tracy, Laura, Catherine. Is it Catherine? Catherine. Um, and former Podcast Tower members of um, The Ear. Hello. Hope you're enjoying everything in Goa, James. Um, Derek and Karen. Hi. But yeah, that's my shout out. Now, I've been looking at blogs for quite a while on YouTube. I think YouTube's a fantastic thing to have. And um, I've come across quite a few blo um, YouTube names that I think are quite cool. And I'm going to name them. The first one is the podcast channel, of course. I run that channel on YouTube, um, so the videos go up there are mine, um, or I create them, because that's what I do, I'm an editor, I edit audio, I edit some video, although this one will be rather bad because I'm not very good at PTC, or they call it piece to camera, so basically that's me sitting in front of you talking and saying blah 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 blah, um, but that's basically... <laughs> I'm sorry, this is embarrassing, this is the first time I've actually done this face to face and it may come across a bit iffy, so... Sorry, sorry, I, I, I started yammering away this. Um, I tend to do that, so if I start fading out and fading back in, then that's why. Um, I like the podcast channel's YouTube. Um, I think the link will be down there somewhere. Um, and I also, also like two others. Well, three others. But one of them is merged together with somebody else. First one is a YouTube account called Bobby Lou. Now, this is... Red Dwarf actor and TV presenter Robert Llewellyn, who played Crichton. Yes, and um, he, last year, he did a, um, well, he did a blog about making do. And basically what he did is he didn't buy anything for himself for a year. Yeah, he, he fed himself and so forth. And, um, so he still buy food, but that was on a family basis. But for personally himself... He didn't buy anything. So at the end of the year, he's getting bedraggled, he's using razors here that are getting a bit ch churned up, he's not wearing contacts anymore. I mean, you can see the result. You can actually see some of the results because um, for the first Scrap Heap Challenge, which is another thing he's done recently, which he's more popular for, the last Scrap Heap Challenge series, which is just about finished, it's got another one next week, that is the first one that he's actually worn his glasses most of the time. As you can see, I'm blind. Um, well, I'm not that blind. I can still see the camera quite clearly here. Um, but if we go further back, well, let's get a bit blurry. Um, but there, fine. So that proved because beforehand he didn't wear the glasses. Now I'm assuming that's because of contacts. It might not be. It might be wrong. Let me know if it's wrong, Robert. But I kind of thought, well, hmm, that's showing the making do here, you know. But he did a blog. It was about 25 blogs he did on making do, um, and it was really inter interesting. And um, to quote one of his characters on YouTube, Robert Llewellyn, you're extraordinary! But, well, that's not very good. The other name, well, two names, are Tony Coburn, otherwise known as Time Lord from Hell, and Thomas Rhys K, Mr. Crevice himself, or um, the Master Crevice. 
I don't know if this finger point is working because I've actually not seen the screen because it was distracting. Um, I tried to record it before and it was distracting me because I was looking at the screen instead of looking at the actual camera when you're supposed to be looking at the camera. So I didn't. I haven't used the. I haven't used it this time. That's that's turned around. Um, but they are very good. They are Doctor Who fans. They're like teenagers. Um, I want to say only. They are. They're, they're great in what they do. Their production values. All right. They they're very good with what they use and they're, they're brilliant at it. I mean, they, they know more about Pinnacle Studio than I do. But then again, I'm a fan of Cult Pro Man, so even though this could be edited in Pinnacle Studio, so I'll say that now. Studio Nine, Studio Nine. I've not got the latest software, but then again, I have been concentrating on the more professional stuff. This is a more personal thing for me. But I'm testing out a new camera. This is a new camera here. It's a new Samsung. It's a Samsung Digital Cam. Um, so I'm enjoying looking at it. I'm just trying to think of the what does it say? VP D three seven one W. And get my Nargos. I'm not going to say how much it is because I'll give the game away. <laughs> but the reason why I've got a DV cam and not an HD cam is because this camera will be used alongside another camera, which is this one here. Um, it's an older one. It's Canon. Um, but the problem with this one is um, the battery's a bit worn on it, um, so it's a bit of a it's a bit of a pain. Um, so this has a longer-lasting battery, which charges quite easily. Um, which is a hell of a lot easier to use. So this little thing here will become the main camera you see on the podcast. But because it's mini DV, there's not going to be a variation in formats. So that's basically what we're using. We use bigger cameras. We have bigger cameras. But for the normal roadshow stuff to be less intrusive, we have these small cameras here, which don't look as bad. Um, and for the internet, you know, you can get away with it. Now, um... One thing I will be a bit annoyed about in this is the sound. This doesn't have a mic connection in it at the side. This camera here, if I open it up, has a has a a mic thing. Look. Has it there. Um and that you're able to plug in a mini mic, um a tie mic, or even if you've got the right technology you're able to plug in an a normal dynamic dynamic. Um I think I've got one there. Um, I won't bother about that just now. Um, the background sheet beside me is um, curtains drawn, as you might see that. 